So one of the most common problems I see golfers suffer from, and that is their arms disconnecting away from their body in the golf swing. Now that can result in over the top swings, generally poor striking, and just not hitting the ball as far as it could do. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly what you gotta to do to be able to stop it, some good drills, and we'll get the problem fixed. So I'm Jonathan Chan with J-Chan Golf. Let's dive right in. So disconnecting in your golf swing, what is it? That is where, when you're swinging your golf club, your arms are getting very disconnected and away from the rest of your body. So your hands and arms are going away from you as you're swinging that golf club. So as you can see here, quite a bit of gap between the upper lead arm and my body here. So what that's gonna cause, like we said in the intro there, a lot of bad shots can happen from that. So if my left arm, my arms stay disconnected from my body, up to the top of the backswing here, for example, that's gonna cause a very high left arm, so a lack of left arm depth. Like we know the more depth we have to our hands or our left arm, the lower more behind. So we know when we have a lack of left arm depth and that stays disconnected in the downswing as well, you're gonna swing a little bit over the top, cut across it. So one big thing that we wanna avoid, we don't wanna be swinging over the top. But two, like we know as well there, if we're cutting across that golf ball, we're generally not gonna have too much control over our strike location. So very inconsistent strikes, not gonna be ideal. And as well, of course, when our arms disconnect away from our body, they're also disconnecting away and moving against how we're pivoting our body. So when we're just swinging with a disconnected arm swing, we're generally only in recruiting the power of our arms. That's about it. We're not using the bigger muscles in our body. We're not gonna be really transferring the force we're creating through the ground. The kinetic chain is really being broken. So we're not gonna be hitting the ball quite as far as we should be. So before we jump into a drill to be able to fix this and get ourselves more connected, you know, so we can have a better chance of not swinging over the top, better strikes, better power generation, we've got to understand why this normally happens for players and why you get disconnected. Because what I see for a vast majority of all players that are disconnected in the golf swing, it's because they are trying to take their hands dead straight back as they're going back in the backswing there, in their takeaway move. But you can see if the hands try to go dead straight back, that's gonna cause the arm and left arm to disconnect away from my body. So it's quite often the time a takeaway issue that really starts all this here. So we know with the golf swing, we swing in a circle, an arc round our body. We cannot do that if the hands go dead straight back. Yes, the club can go straight back a little bit for a little bit of time, just as we're taking it back, but ultimately that starts curving around as well. But you're gonna see if I try to swing my club on a circle and on an arc around me, my hands aren't gonna go dead straight back and disconnect with my lead arm. They're actually gonna be on a mirrored smaller arc around me as well. So for me to not be disconnected and to just to generally move that club on a decent path and decent arc straight away, I'm gonna need these hands to be slightly traveling in. So I'm gonna need them to go slightly in and around from that first move here. And you're gonna see that's immediately gonna get my left arm more connected. That's immediately gonna get the club working on its arc a little bit better. The hands working on a mirrored arc there. So then it makes it much easier for me to get up to the top of my backswing. Left arm's now connected, haven't really tried to do it. I've just had that takeaway go more in. And then I can swing down and hit some better shots from there. So yeah, absolutely hands going in, but that does not mean club going in because ultimately if our hands are going in and we're being quite passive with our hands because what we do to make those hands go in, we just have a very gentle chest rotation in that first move there keeping the arms nicely connected to our side but you can see hands are going in club head staying on the outside of the hands there because one of the biggest misconceptions i see a lot and i see a lot with this with lessons is as soon as someone sees an inside move, whether it's the club head or the hands, they think it's wrong straight away. Yes, we don't want the club head whipping right on the inside, but you can see as I do that, what happens to my hands? They actually go outward. So that's hands going out, club going in. So if I get those hands going in, the generally, if I do it passively with my chest, not too much movement with my hands and arms, just letting my slight chest rotation do the job there, hands are gonna go in club's gonna go out. So that's our first little move there. We want hands going in, club going out, little chest rotation will be more connected. So for a lot of you there, hands going in with that nice chest rotation, 
arms being nicely tucked to your side there will get rid of the problem for pretty much all of you. But it's not really too much feedback there to whether we're doing it right or wrong, because we know a golf feel isn't real. So we've got to have something in there that gives us surefire feedback that we're doing it right or wrong. So that's where we're doing a drill here. So you may have noticed I'm not wearing a glove. That's because we're going to do something different with the glove. We're going to grab our glove. We're going to put it underneath our lead arm here. So this is a really, really good feedback orientated drill and we'll get you connected. It will absolutely get you connected. So with this glove underneath my arm, what I'm wanting to do is keep it there the entire swing. That's going to keep my left arm very connected to my chest there and it's going to really make me hit better golf shots. So what's going to happen, of course, if I disconnect it? So if I disconnect it, hands go straight out or dead straight back, just the bad move in general, the glove straight away is going to fall down towards the ground. Very simple type of feedback drill. You could do this with a head cover. You could do it with a towel. Just anything where it's forcing you to keep that left arm a little bit more tucked to your side. But head cover wise, don't do it with a massive thick driver head cover because you could still disconnect a little bit and keep that underneath your arm. Something nice and thin will be the way to go here. So let's hit a shot, keep it underneath my lead arm and see how we do with our connection. So you can imagine, if you're keeping those arms nice and tucked to your side for that first movement, really making sure you're just having a little chest rotation, hands will go nice and in and around on its own naturally. With that nice little drill there, you can do this and you'll be able to get that nice connection there. And a good little trick for out in the golf course, if I can grab a ball here, is grab a little bit of your, your golf shirt there, tuck it underneath your left arm and boom, you've got your drill, but you can do it out in the golf course. Because of course, it's not a training aid, is it? Tucking in your shirt there. Loads of tour players do this. It's a way to still feel that same thing. I used to do this back in the day as well. Helped me massively when I was struggling from this. So I'll give you the exact same feel, trying to feel like that tucked shirt is still staying underneath your left arm. And that's gonna give you the exact same result in there, but out on the golf course as well. Brilliant. So, absolutely, if you found this helpful, guys, click that like button. If you want more golf instruction just like this, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button too to be notified every time I put out a video. So let's get more connected and we'll have a way better chance of hitting more consistent golf shots. If you are really struggling with rotation in the downswing, we're in luck because I've been making a course recently called the Ultimate Guide to Rotation in the Downswing. And it's now live on an app called Skillist. And Skillist is the platform, the app which I do all my online coaching on. But there is also a little section on my profile which is for online courses and when you click that you're going to see the ultimate guide to rotation and downswing is going to be on there so you can purchase that and everything you want to know about rotation and really having a coaching level of knowledge on rotation will be in that course because that is what you need to be perfectly honest to be able to rotate efficiently in the downswing you have to have the knowledge of one what you need to do and two how to apply it to your golf swing so there is really everything you need to know in that course. So there'll be a link down in the description there to download the app and all you need to do is search my name, Jonathan Chown. You'll find my profile and I'll put up a little thing here which I would put up through this section of exactly how you get to that section.